everybody, it's Mandy from the Leather Quilt Shop, and I wanted to do my One Book July setup video. One Book July was started by a group of gals who kind of wanted to bring back the simplicity to planning, and it was originally started with one book, one pen, one month. And I have done it in the past. I, you know, I don't like messing with my systems. Like when a system works for me, a system is working for me, and I don't want to change it. Even though I do have planner shiny object syndrome. Not gonna lie. So, when I wanted to do this year, I was like, I didn't really want to change my system that much. So, when I heard from Carrie Harling, Harling, sorry, that they were adding this component of a project to it, I was like, yes, that's awesome. So, I did decide to do it this year, and what I essentially did was I just had Brett make me a little fat wrap leather quill and added all my books to it. So this this month I'm only carrying one book. This is a design that, I mean obviously it's based on the American flag, so it's not like I didn't create the American flag, but uh, I did think of the design layout on my leather quill. So I'm not quite sure if we're gonna sell this design <laughs> because it took forever to do. And it it would definitely be one of those that would be like a limited edition or it would be a custom order because it would not be within our normal leather quill price point. Because as you guys know, we try to keep our leather quills under $50. So for the larger sizes. So this, like I said, is a Chunky Monkey wrap leather quill. Our, normally we have four bands in our leather quills and this bad boy has six. And all of them have something on them. Plus, I may be adding my journal in here. I haven't fully decided yet. Now, I am still doing my art journaling in my Midori. I'm not changing that. That's staying the same. I'm not even going to mess with it. What I did was I took my personal planner and my shop planner and put them all into this one. So, again, this is the wrap leather quill. And it has the red elastic on it. So I have... I'll show you guys open her up and show you guys the whole thing this is the whole design which this is all done by hand with dye and I wanted it to look like a vintage American flag I did not want it to look like a brand new American flag because you guys know me I have a vintage and things that look old so first thing I have in here is oh the inside is not dye the inside is just a natural kind of birthday suit leather um, I love the softness of it I love kind of the whole hide effect it's definitely my jam. So the first thing I have in here is a divider that I'll include the link down below. I got it from an Etsy shop. It has a divider on one side and then on the other side it has a really large pocket. And I really like that because I put my, some of my stickers I use in here. So I have my divider. I have my shopping list from my Me and My Big Ideas um, recipe notebook that I don't even use. I just like the shopping list. And then I have this card insert that again I'll include a link to the shop where I got it from if I can remember. It has six pockets and then a zip pocket in the middle. I did take some stuff out of here uh, just because I want to show you guys a clean video. Normally I keep my driver's license and my debit card here and then on the inside I stick receipts as I need them, especially business receipts. So, and then this side I normally have like my insurance card and my, my other debit card and stuff like that. And then on the opposite side of that, it has, where are you? It has this great zipper pocket here with a pen loop and then it has two more folders. And I love this insert. I hope this is in focus. I absolutely, I love this insert. I think it is absolutely great. And then if we keep going here, I have two, and by two I mean three, Midori card inserts. And what I do with these is normally I'll put like the leather quilt shop cards in here and um, cards that I need to keep with me. I just started setting this one up for this month, doing it this way, so I'm going to be moving into it a little bit more. I just, you know, it's kind of weird when I have like all my cards and stuff in here and then you know, I just, I, so I took them out. <laughs> But, so those are the actual inserts at the front that I have. I have my Planner Society um, stickers in here because I, I love her stickers. She's the only subscription box for planners that I really, that I subscribe to right now. 
just because I love everything that I get in there and she does such a good job and it's curated so well. So I highly recommend the Planner Society kits. I think that they are well worth the money. The next insert I have in here is my actual monthly insert. And this is a Midori 17 monthly insert. These stickers are from a Midori sticker set that I got. Uh, again, you know, I'm going to go through here and I'm going to try to link everything that I can down below so you guys, if you see something you, you fancy, you can get it. Uh, I think these may be sold out in a lot of places, but I, I will try to find them for you guys. And normally they come with just like this linen cover, this off-white or ivory white linen cover, but I, you know, of course had to jazz mine up a little bit. So on the inside, I put one of these Pan American pocket cards. And then I glued the scrap of paper on the inside with a couple. I plan on adding more to this as I get inspired. So far, I haven't really been inspired. <laughs> so then this page is still blank. This page is still blank. What I'm actually doing with this is I'm changing up how I'm doing the income from my shop. So every day, I'm going to take a look at the income that our shop has. And, um, and then on this side, I'm going to look at the expenses so I can just get a general idea. This is a clip I got at Hobby Lobby. It came in like a pack of like a gazillion. Uh, let's go to, okay, this is my July spread. This is what a blank spread looks like, just so you guys know. Um, these tabs do not come with this insert. These are Midori. I, they actually came with this sticker set. So I, I love these. They're small. They work. They're beautiful love them but this is how I set up my monthly spread in my calendar I this is where I pay bills from you see bills do um, I track our income I track well like I just said income but I we have a lot of bank accounts and I color code them to what's coming out and I put them in here. So that way I kind of have a general idea. Like today I know my Ipsy is coming out and I need to pay my Etsy fees. Um, this clip, again, I'll include the Etsy shop where I got it from. I like it. I think it's cool. I wish it was a smaller bookmark. Um, this is just a little big for me. But I wanted to use it around the 4th of July. So these stickers are from the Planner Society. At the bottom here, <laughs> since I'm not doing one pen for the month, there's no way I could do it. I'm not even going to do that to myself. I know I would be miserable. I, and I kind of use one pen at a time, but I do color code things, and I just know I wouldn't be happy if I was just using one pen. So I broke the rules, but, and, st but I'm going to be punished for breaking the rules. Like, I'm not just going to break the rules and, and be okay with it. So one of the updates that they did for One Book July in with this year is they added like a 2.0 version and if you didn't want to mess with your system you could pick one project to do this month so my project is decluttering and cleaning my studio that is a project as sad as that sounds <laughs> because I have a lot of stuff in my studio and it seriously needs to be cleaned out so that's my project now my punishment project for not using one pen is I need to declutter clean my living room and I also want to do a mood board for the renovations of it. So that's going to be like kind of my project that I'm doing. And then my project for my shop is that this month is going to be like the month of photography for me. So I'm really going to work on some of my, my shop photos and updating and things like that. I want to work on possibly a catalog and then the wholesale worksheet or line sheets. So that's kind of my big things this month for the shop. That's the insert, and then the insert in the back has like the the timelines, and then some blank pages, which I think is really cool. I love Midori inserts; I really do. They're my favorite. So that's that one. This is a Midori folder that I keep in here. I don't, I don't have anything in that pocket, but like I felt compelled to keep it. I don't know why. And but I have my pen board in the back. This is the Midori 19 insert. And this is probably my favorite planning insert that I've ever found. This just works with my brain. It is awesome. I haven't done it on the inside, but this I was originally going to do like a memory a day or gratitude a day. And I started it in May 
and I did nothing the whole rest of the month and did nothing in June. So I'm going to try to pick it back up for July. We'll see. I'm terrible about that kind of stuff. So this is like how my layouts look. Is I normally do like my to-do list over here and then this is like kind of like a memory keeping photos. It can be like a bullet journal if I want. Um, shopping lists. Things like that. So what I did, and I'll include a link to this paper clip because I don't remember the shop off the top of my head. What I did was I started a new weekly section for this week since the first was on a Friday. So instead of having the whole week here, which is back here, um, which I don't really want to show because I have like a couple private things on here, but I have stuff I need to buy. Um, oh, you know what? I need to actually add to that before I forget. So I have stuff I need to buy, what I need to clean this weekend, um, what I need to do, like Goodwill run, June accounting plan, and then this is just open for now. Today I need to do my mail drop, my film, my one book July, my work on my email list, catch up on my email, do a blog post. These stickers are actually from my shop, and this prompts me to write a blog post. I need to also do a budget review. This is from the Planner Society, so I need to actually remember to drink water. And that's just kind of how I do that. On this side, uh, oh, I haven't even started it yet, so I don't know how that's going to end up, but I'll show you guys. Like, I'll, I post pictures on Instagram of my planners all the time, so I'll also include my Instagram down below. But that is, and then this is like a blank week, so you guys can see it. This is undated. I prefer undated to dated, and it has this really cool like green linen cover. Again, I want, it, I want to decorate the cover a little bit, but I don't know. I kind of like it plain, too. Now this is a folder. I am going to start selling folders in my shop, but a little insider information. I made a bunch and I realized that my paper was a little thin for it. So those are actually going as freebies and orders with the appropriate traveler's notebook size. And this is one that I had that I'm just kind of using because uh, I thought it was a little Americana even though it has some hot pink in there. but. I, but again, I don't have anything in here just yet, but this is something that is coming to the shop. I'm just kind of looking for like the perfect, the perfect paper and that's like the prototype. Now these two notebooks are my shop notebooks. These are just Moleskine Cahiers. I use Moleskine Cahier and Midori size in the same notebook. It doesn't bother me at all. This is a blank insert and what I do is I have some of my notes from like webinars and things like that, um, content ideas, which you can tell us having like a rock star day that day, um, websites that I'm doing, um, a little, just odds and ends stuff. Oh, uh, this is from Willow, Willow Fields. Um, this one was from a Planner Society kit. That's one that I made. And then the rest of these are blank. And then this is the a grid Molsky notebook. And what I do is I just have like my stats and stuff. I need to do this today. Um, yeah. Which I did a terrible job of keeping up with this last month. I'm not going to lie. I just, I, I was too busy to plan. <laughs> as sad as that sounds. And then this pen loop here is one from Midori. And it's one that just like, it's adhesive backed so it just it, it adheres to your notebook. We do do pen loops in our wraps. What we do is we attach them about here and then they're riveted on. I just didn't really feel the need for a pen loop when I had two in my current setup. So the pens that I'm using currently, the reason why I'm not using one pen per month is because I have multiple fountain pens open at once. And I'm not going to let them dry out. So, and I have ink in them and the whole nine yards. This is one that's from my shop. This is one that Brett made. And it looks like granite, which is one of my favorite things ever. It has a gold nib. I love this pen. I'm probably but this is my, the fountain pen that I'm, that I'm mainly going to use this month. This is the one that stays in my, my notebook. This pen is from my Planner Society kit. And I like it. Um, for a ballpoint pen, they're pretty good. Like, I have to admit, uh, I'm not a huge ballpoint pen person, but I wanted to use it a little bit this month, so that's in here too. 
But that is my chunky one book July set up for this month. Um, again, my art journal is, is still in my Midori. I'm not changing that around because that works really well for me. So if you have any questions about one book July, leave them below. I will gladly answer them. If you have any questions about other cool products, leave them below and I will gladly answer them. I would love to know if you're doing one book July and if you are, leave a link to your video down below so I can check it out because I am insane and watch way too many planner videos on YouTube. <laughs> Hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.